<laughs> All right, Mario Draghi, the ECB president, under the spotlight today because remember, he promised to preserve the euro, do whatever it takes uh, within his mandate. Mm -hmm. So what is he going to deliver? David Rosenberg of Gluskin Chef reminds us of what has been attempted so far, and he sums it up nicely. Here we are, a second bailout for Greece, a rate cut, a rescue pa package for Spanish banks, two huge rounds of uh, LTRO, the long-term repo operation, all in the past year, and the situation has worsened, and now investors seem to think we're about to embark on the holy grail. Please, get a grip. Okay, snarkiness aside, or perhaps wit aside, the question is, is he going to come out with a big asset purchase program, or perhaps give an explicit ceiling on the rates that uh, the sovereign preferred right. debt should be, be at? Before we get to your must-read, do you think there will be some drama here at the 745 moment or at 830? No, it'll be at 8.30, 7.45, we just get whether there's a rate cut or rate not. Movement, right. I mean, it, it could happen, but uh, most analysts are betting against that. He's going to make a big, big announcement at a press conference? That's the way they do it. Now, whether they make the announcement or not mm. is, is, is the open question. There's some, some people think that they haven't had time to put together what they want to do. I agree with that. I, it all seems rushed. What do you got today for morning mustard? Well, you know, Here's the question. Uh, Scarlett just said that Mario Draghi is going to do whatever he can within his mandate. You hear a lot of people saying the Fed's not living up to its mandate. We thought maybe we should take a look at what those mandates are because people get them wrong. I bet if I asked you how many mandates the Fed has, what would you say? I would say two. Tom is wrong. You can get the little bug up. The Fed actually has three, but people forget about the third one. Here's the Fed's mandate. Promote effectively the goals of maximum employment, stable prices, and moderate long-term interest rates. Everybody forgets about that interest the moderate rate part. One. But here's the interesting thing. Everybody says they're violating their mandate because unemployment's too high and inflation's too low. They don't have targets. All they have to do is promote it. And yeah. you could certainly argue that zero interest rates are promoting that goal. Mm -hmm. And let's take a look at what Mario Draghi can do. Everybody knows price oh, stability, like right? The job. primary objective, they call it the European system of central banks in their treaty, shall be to maintain price stability. But it goes on to say, and without prejudice to the objective of price stability, support the general economic policies in the community. Now, in another part of the treaty, those policies are spelled out as a high level of employment and sustainable and non-inflationary growth. So Draghi has some wiggle room. He's also talking about the idea that their job is to get monetary policy mm. out into the system. The transmission mechanism is clogged so they can do it that way.